Hello everyone, and welcome back to Des English, and today, we're diving into one of the most crucial sections of the IELTS exam, Speaking Part 2. We'll be exploring tips, strategies, and sample responses to help you ace this part of the test. So, let's get started. In Part 2 of the IELTS Speaking Exam, you will be given a task card, also known as a cue card. This card contains a topic and a set of prompts or questions related to that topic. You will have one minute to prepare and make notes on the topic provided on the cue card. During this time, you should brainstorm ideas, outline your response, and jot down key points. After one minute of preparation, you will be asked to speak for one or two minutes on the topic. The examiner will instruct you to begin speaking now. While speaking, you should address all the prompts on the cue card and provide detailed and relevant information. Here's an example of a cue card for IELTS Speaking Part 2. Topic, describe a memorable trip you have taken. You should say, where you went, when you went on the trip, who you went with, what you did during the trip, why this trip is memorable to you. To excel in IELTS Part 2, consider the following tips. Practice timing. Use a timer to practice speaking for one to two minutes on various topics. This will help you manage your time effectively during the exam. Take notes. During the one minute preparation time, Make concise notes or an outline of what you plan to say. This will help you stay on track and cover all the prompts. Speak clearly. Focus on clear pronunciation and enunciation. Avoid speaking too fast or too softly. Expand on ideas. Provide detailed information and examples to support your points. Elaborate on the topic to showcase your language skills. Stay relevant. Ensure that your response addresses all aspects of the cue card. Don't stray off topic. Practice past tense. Since you're describing a past experience, use past tenses appropriately in your response. Here are the sample IELTS speaking part two cue cards along with sample responses. One place I would really love to visit in the future is Kroto, Japan. It's a city that's rich in history and culture, known for its stunning temples, traditional tea ceremonies, and beautiful cherry blossoms. I've always been fascinated by Japanese culture, and Kyoto seems like the perfect destination to immerse myself in it. I envision exploring ancient shrines like the Golden Pavilion and Fushimi in Aritaisha, known for its thousands of red torii gates. Additionally, I'd like to experience a traditional tea ceremony and savor authentic Japanese cuisine. What makes this place so appealing to me is the blend of history and natural beauty. I hope to witness the cherry blossoms in full bloom during springtime, which is a sight to behold. Kyoto seems like a serene and culturally enriching destination that I hope to visit soon. Recently, I had the pleasure of reading The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, and I absolutely loved it. The book is a mesmerizing tale of a magical competition between two young illusionists, Celia and Marco, who are bound by their mentors into a lifelong rivalry. I read the book over the course of a few weeks, primarily in the cozy corner of my living room with a cup of tea. The story transported me to a different world each time I opened its pages. What struck me the most was the imagery and atmosphere created throughout the book. It's a novel that's both whimsical and profound, leaving a lasting impact on the reader. I would highly recommend it to anyone looking for a captivating and beautifully written story. One of my favorite hobbies is gardening. I find it to be an incredibly therapeutic and rewarding activity. I have a small backyard garden where I grow a variety of plants, from colorful flowers to fresh vegetables. 
I spend my free time tending to my garden, planting new seeds, and watching them grow. There's something magical about nurturing a tiny seedling into a flourishing plant. It's a wonderful way to connect with nature and take a break from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Gardening also provides a sense of accomplishment. When I see the flowers bloom or harvest fresh vegetables for a meal, it gives me a great sense of satisfaction. Plus, it's a peaceful and meditative activity that allows me to clear my mind and reach George. Overall, gardening is not just a hobby for me, it's a passion. It brings beauty to my surroundings and a sense of joy to my life, making it one of the most enjoyable ways to spend my free time. One place that holds a special meaning to me is the coastal town of Monterey, California. I visited Monterey a few years ago during a summer vacation. Monterey is located on the central coast of California, known for its stunning ocean views and marine life. I chose to visit this place because of its reputation as a haven for wildlife enthusiasts and its serene beauty. What made Monterey particularly meaningful was the opportunity to witness marine life up close. I visited the Monterey Bay Aquarium, which is renowned for its conservation efforts and educational programs. Seeing sea otters, dolphins, and various species of fish in their natural habitat left a profound impact on me. It made me appreciate the importance of preserving our oceans and marine ecosystems. Additionally, the picturesque coastline with its rugged cliffs and crashing waves was a sight to behold. The tranquility of the ocean, the fresh sea breeze, and the stunning sunsets are memories I will cherish forever. A skill that I'm eager to learn in the future is photography. I've always been fascinated by the art of capturing moments through the lens of a camera. To acquire this skill, I plan to enroll in photography classes at a local community college. I believe that formal instruction will provide a strong foundation in photography techniques such as composition, lighting, and post-processing. The reason I want to learn photography is twofold. Firstly, I want to be able to document the world around me and share my perspective through visual storytelling. Photography has the power to evoke emotions and convey stories in a unique way, and I want to be able to do that effectively. Secondly, I see it as a means of personal expression and creativity. Learning photography will allow me to explore my artistic side and find beauty in the everyday. A person who has had a significant influence on my life is my high school English teacher, Mrs. Anderson. I got to know Mrs. Anderson during my sophomore year of high school when she became my English teacher. Her influence on my life was profound in several ways. She had an exceptional ability to inspire a love for literature and writing in her students. Her passion for the subject was infectious, and it transformed me into an avid reader and a more confident writer. Mrs. Anderson also taught me the value of critical thinking and effective communication. She encouraged classroom discussions and debates, which sharpened my analytical skills and my ability to express my ideas clearly. Moreover, Mrs. Anderson was not just a teacher but a mentor who genuinely cared about her students' personal and academic growth. She provided guidance and support during challenging times and instilled in me a strong work ethic and a belief in the power of education. Thanks to her influence, I pursued a degree in English literature and continued to write creatively in my free time. Mrs. Anderson's impact on my life is a testament to the profound influence that dedicated educators can have on their students. Certainly, one of my unique hobbies is stargazing. I started stargazing when I was in high school and it has become a regular activity for me, especially during clear nights. I have always been fascinated by the cosmos and the vastness of the universe, which led me to develop an interest in astronomy. While my family enjoys various hobbies like gardening, painting, or reading, none of them are particularly interested in astronomy or stargazing. What sets stargazing apart is the solitude and tranquility it offers. It's a solitary hobby where I can escape from the noise and distractions of daily life and immerse myself in the beauty of the night sky. 
Whether it's observing constellations, planets, or meteor showers, each stargazing session allows me to marvel at the wonders of the universe and find a sense of serenity. Thank you for joining us today. I wish you the best of luck with your IELTS Speaking Part 2 preparation. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing it with others preparing for the IELTS exam.